How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, uh, we're addressing a little bit of something we've seen on the Dokkan Twitter timeline, and that is this big argument over Vegeta and Trunks uh, versus God Goku. Um, a lot of people are trying to say we gotta decide who's number one between the two, and I'm here to tell you... I think we can settle that both of them being great defensive options is a good thing. And we're going to test this out with God Goku on Vegeta and Trunks' team against the Red Zone Broly. So let's go ahead, let's hop in, and let's have some fun. Trunks! You think this is the end? Think about the next threat, or think about your pride. Saiyan blood flows in your veins. If you're my son, as you claim, then I won't tolerate you losing to anyone! I will get stronger. Stronger than the enemy, and stronger than you! Alrighty, so... Um, let's see here. Uh, we have Carnival Goku here. We do want to prioritize getting him some stacks. Uh, so we're gonna do this number. Or not stacks, more like taking hits, right? We need him to take those hits, so let's just hope that there's not a super... Okay, well, as long as it's not pre-super, this is good. Okay, this is what we need. Alright, we want to get his scouter up early on, right? If we can have it up before we go into the AOE phase, that's obviously better, because then we can decide when we're going to use our Whis. Alright, excellent. No super against him, which means if there is a super this turn, it's against Vegeta, Trunks, or God Goku, which is great. Um, we know we're not going to take any damage there, so... This is actually our new Vegeta and Trunks. They are 79% now, so we should be seeing them uh, hit up a little bit more, right? Doing a little bit more damage, doing a couple more additionals here. Um, so this should be fun. Okay, so... No super then, because God Goku's about to seal Broly here, so great. So this is a Super Saiyan God. I never knew this level of power existed. It's about time I got a chance to fight. It's pretty obvious you're not going to defeat him by yourself. So we have our second rotation here all set up, um, let's see. I need the gods to get a stack, so I'm almost thinking we want to keep them on here. But then again, you know what, I think this will work, okay, I think as long as God Goku or no one else crits, I think we can pull this off. I think we can get uh, a stack out of everybody here, so let's go ahead. Let's do that number um, with God Goku. Let's grab that. We'll avoid getting the 18 key with the Vegeta and Trunks so we can set this up on the LR gods. I think this will... I'm hoping we don't do enough damage with God Goku and Vegeta and Trunks to actually let the gods get some hits off, but we'll see. Although we did get their 24 key. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Um, we'll see. Alright, but nice. God Goku not doing enough damage just yet since this is an STR type, so this is perfect. We did get the additional normal. Too bad that wasn't the 50% chance to get the crit, or to get the additional super, but we'll take it. Um, Alright, Vegeta and Trunks get an additional normal. This is the Rainbow Friend, by the way. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see God Goku keeping up with this Vegeta and Trunks because the one we have him paired next to is the uh, Rainbow Friend, as I said. So we did manage to get it. We get the first super with the LR gods. Can we pull a second? Yes, we can. Excellent. Although I don't think we're going to get a third. We might just kill him here. 
All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, actually, no, not at all. Okay, we get the third. Perfect, this is exactly what we want out of the LR gods, especially because we gotta float them off to the next rotation. All right, and that's going to bring us into the tech phase, so... We have both Bird Coup and Carnival Goku on. Now, I am going to float off Bird Coup here, uh, simply because, like I said, we need to get up Carnival Goku's Scouter. That's going to be our saving grace on this run, so let's grab that with the Bird Coup. We'll still get the defensive stack. He's really mainly here just to revive if we need it. Um, and plus to help out a little bit with the Kamehameha link on the God Goku, really. And he's a good option for that. Alrighty, so, excellent, um, the Vegeta and Trunks here are going to build up, like I said earlier, we do have them now at 79%, which is going to help them out a lot more, both defensively and offensively, uh, I think the attacks in front of Carnival Goku here are enough to get him to the 10 attacks, which means entering the AoE phase, like I said, we will have his, ooh, he's taking a super though, I did not want that. Well, I mean, at least we got our 18 key, which means we raised our defense. 180k, that's that's not too bad. Okay, but I do think that is enough to get his uh, scouter up, which means next time they roll around on the AoE, we'll know where the super is, which is perfect. May help us no item this if we want. Alright, let's see, let's put... Okay, we actually have a decent field here, so... Hmm... Look at that. I mean, he's darn near caught up to the Vegeta and Trunks with with, with the 50% raise that he's going to get on his super. He might actually be caught up. Or at least they should be tied for defense if both of them get their super attacks off. So, all right, let's see. Let's do... Let's, let's, I mean, we're still within the five turn limit, so we can, we can safely put Vegeta and Trunks in the second slot. Um, and since God Goku deals less damage, it's probably best to put him here. And plus, we'll get to see how he tanks, because we already kind of know how Vegeta and T Trunks are going to take those based on the other rotation, so. Very nice. He took it for double digits, which means now we can let him get his stacks off now. Can this be a turn where we get the hidden potential? I have a very low chance. I think I have, like seven additional in the guy <laughs> um so let's see all right nice perfect this is exactly what we need out of him and now vegeta and trunks can get their rays actually i think we have nine additional right because i have two fours on him And perfect. Everybody got their defensive sack, and now we roll into the AoE phase. So, let's see here. Yep, we got it, which means the super attack is in the second slot. Ooh. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Alright, here's what I'm thinking. We put Vegeta and Trunks here, right? Yeah, because now their passive is expired. Or at least it expires this turn, I think, right? Turn five, so this is the last turn. So we transform the gods, we cancel that super, and Let's we're golden. Let's do this, Vegeta! Damn you! This is a power greater than that of a Super Saiyan God! I'm going to have fun destroying you! Alrighty, so... Unfortunately, it does mean uh, that we'll have to put off our Carnival Goku, but I do think this is the best play here, so... We just need to make, make sure we get the setup of orbs to get them their 18 key. And I think if we grab this, those tech orbs should drop down, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's grab that. Oh, perfect. Alright, so, and on top of that, we'll get the 24 key, so... Um, we'll cancel the super, which means we will survive this turn. We don't have to use an item. Excellent. All right. 
Okay, so I, you, you, you guys understanding me now about how powerful the scouter ability is, right? It's why I rate cards like Bardock, Carnival Goku, and Tech Gogeta. Although we haven't used Tech Gogeta in a while. We need to use him again. Uh, maybe we'll bring him back uh, on another God's run with the uh, Goku. We'll see. All right, but we do get the uh, additional super with the Vegeta and Trunks, which will not really help us. It won't do much for us, but it just helps us get a little bit stronger. Um, although, see, my only problem with transforming this early, as you see here, gods aren't as powerful as they could be. Um, but it was necessary to survive the turn, because otherwise we would have had to use an item, and I don't necessarily know that with three stack, well, I mean, post super they probably would have been okay. But, um, yeah. No, I think this was the right play. Alright, so Carnival Goku, if he could just proc an additional super for us, I, well, no, he should be fine on normals, actually. Yeah, we're good. Alright, excellent, and that rolls us into this phase. Now, we have no idea where the super is here, um, and I don't know that anybody on this rotation is powerful enough to actually take down Broly here. Um, so, let's see here. We do need to make sure that God Goku gets six orbs, though. I don't know that I necessarily want him in front, especially if we're only going to pick up five. I want to see something here. Um, okay, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, it's turn five. Okay, so six. So yeah, they we can't put. We can't put Vegeta and Trunks in slot 2. We gotta keep them slot 1 now. So let's just grab that. It does mean we won't get the 18 key, but God Goku will get his 6 spheres, which is fine. I mean, Vegeta and Trunks need to defend. Although I feel like if we got the 18 key, we would have been okay. Um, ah, Bird Koo's gonna miss a super 2. Ah, man. This did not work in our favor at all. Alright. Ah, if only there was one more normal there for Vegeta and Trunks to get that 18 key. That's alright, we'll take it. It's still a one turn defense raise, which will be more than enough, I feel like. Yeah, see, there's the hit. <laughs> okay. Well, at least no supers pre-super, which is good. Which means our Goku here, again, 55%, 9 additional in him can get his additional super since we did get the six spheres and can we get lucky here and get a third before we possibly take the super attack no we get the normal though and there it is I knew it was too good to be true I, I knew we had to be taking a super so I mean here it is how does God Goku take this without an item 30k pretty good Urku actually did alright too, actually. <laughs> Good credit there. Especially since he only got one defensive raise leading into this. Alright, and like I thought, was not enough to take him down. Um, and once again, we have no idea where the super is. So, here's what we're going to do. I want to get the gods over with the god Goku. So we're going to send them off. We'll keep... Yeah, I think this is the right, right call. Let's put god Goku here. Um, so that way when we roll into the AGL phase, we have a safe turn, so to speak, because Bird Coup will be on that turn too, and we'll probably revive, so we just gotta hope there's no super early, uh, before Vegeta and Trunks can attack. Pretty please. Although I don't even know that Vegeta and Trunks can take him out, can they? If they get the crits, actually, they might. There's one, and there's two. Perfect. We're good. All right, excellent. And this rolls us into the AGL phase. Perfect. And there's the super in slot one. So that means... Uh, okay, well... Let's, let's, let's start by giving Carnival Goku the super attack to give everybody a defensive buff. Let's do that. Alright, excellent. 
All right, so now everybody gets all that key that'll help out uh, Vegeta and Trunks, uh, mostly, and Carnival Goku to get the 24 key. And Goku's going to get his 11 spheres here. Oh, this is going to be a great turn. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay here. Um, let's just take those three, get the 24 key, so we can get guaranteed two supers. <sighs> remember, it's been a while since I've had Vegeta and Trunks take a super pre-super here, but I think we're going to do like two... 100k here. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Alrighty, so Vegeta and Trunks are hopefully gonna get a couple hits in here. Alright, very nice. So, since there's no other supers here, we should be okay. I'm pretty sure God Goku is going to tank the normals here just fine. What am I kidding? Pretty sure. I know he will. Um, but we do get the additional super. Um, can we get a third? No. Alright, that's fine. I mean, we're still doing pretty good here. Alright, and Carnival Goku sh is going to get the... 24 key, which means he will get a guaranteed additional super, and he should tank the normals pretty fine here, uh, especially post um, super attack. Excellent. Alright, there's the additional. We are solid. I don't think they're going to take anything here. Awesome. All right, so that just brings us into the next turn, which we do have Bird Coup on, so if anything goes wrong here, we can revive. In fact, we probably want to revive, actually, now that I think about it, right? Because we don't want anything. Uh, we want more health coming into the next fa uh, the next turn, but let's do this. I'm not going to use the active skill. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe we should. Let's grab that with God Goku. Are we gonna see him again? We might not. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just let's just go. Yeah. We're focusing on the Vegeta and Trunks and the God Goku. So you know what? Yeah. Let's let's just avoid using that so we can let them do their thing. All right. Can we get an extra super here? There it is. Perfect. All right. And there's the super. Okay, well, probably going to be a little bit better than the other one. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, a lot better since it was post-super and we got that extra defense raise. So, let's see here. Although him attacking the slot one unit, he might actually super again this turn, which... Oh, I mean, it'll proc the revive. Unless against God Goku here, in which case it'll do nothing. Okay, no? Alright, good. So, he might super Bird Coup here, in which case we will revive, which is great. If he doesn't, I don't think we die. I think Bird Coup can still take the hits. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so we didn't die. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, it is the... F this, this might actually be the final turn, so... Let's go ahead, let's do... Um... Yeah, let's get... Yeah, let's get Legendary Power Active, and let's do Vegeta and Trunks. Alright, so we do get the buff from their active skill now, so that'll be nice. Um, let's see here. Ooh, okay, so we should still get the 18 key here. That'll give us the Dokkan attack, but I don't think it matters because I don't think we're running out of this turn. So let's go ahead, let's do God Goku's now.
Oh, so close. That's pretty good. Again, this is our 55% copy after all. Um, so let's grab that. We'll get a nice little heal in case he does decide to super us again. Um, uh, you know what? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just call this and get the no item. Just in case. Yeah, because looking at the damage there on the end, probably would lose. And there you have it. Gogeta helps us finish it off. Very, very nice. So, there you have it, folks. There is Vegeta and Trunks and Saiyan Day God Goku working together to take down Red Zone Broly. So, like I said, I wanted to put together this video because a lot of people are trying to argue over which one of these guys is the better unit. And I really just wanted to tell you that there's no need to choose, right? They're both insanely good option. We saw that on the rotation where they were together. Heck, if we even put one of them on the other rotation. Right now, there's no really setup to run them uh, solo. You have to run them on Vegeta and Trunks' team. Uh, but you can see they don't take damage. They are both really, really good options. 55% God Goku keeping up with the Rainbow Friend, I gotta say, is pretty impressive that... Uh, pretty even impressive in of itself so like i said i think we should really just be happy that we have two really really viable good defensive options and that go on just about every single team so anyways guys that is the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what do you guys think of the video what do you guys think of running god goku and vegeta and trunks together otherwise guys if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha